My name is Nicholas. I am your main host as well as the moderator for today's webinar on how you can transform your business with Zoho. Uh, again, when we talk about digital transformation, this is generally quite a broad topic, right? And it isn't just limited to talking about a bunch of technology and tools uh, because it involves processes, right? Things that you want to change within your business. Um, it involves people as well, just how ready they are to adapt and to use technology. So there are a ton of other permutations, nuances involved as well. Um, but I do want to use transformation as a basis of our conversation today. That's one. Uh, number two is we will then talk about uh, the various Zoho offerings. First, starting off with what we do in the industry, uh, why we do what we do, what we stand for as a company, and eventually we're going to be diving into the details of our various offerings here uh, on tools specifically that can power your backend as well as the front-end aspect of your business. All right, so that's the basis of today's discussion. So I figure perhaps to get started, we'll do a quick introduction uh, about us as a tech company. Now, we have been in the industry for more than two decades, a little bit over 26 years today, um, and we have been growing consistently. Now, if you take a look at our employee size, the suite and the breadth of our applications have been steadily growing and growing. Um, and we have, in fact, recently crossed the 100 million user milestones. Actually, that is quite a feat that is worth being excited uh, and celebrating. So um, it's, we're incredibly proud of that, right? So I, I think one thing we have to also know about Zoho is that we have been bootstrapped and private since day one. No external funding, completely bootstrapped. Uh, in that sense, we do enjoy the autonomy of being able to build software the way we want to, uh, being able to decide on the timeline of our roadmaps and how we want to do certain feature rollouts, right? So. Um, that, that says a lot about the company. So the philosophy is pretty simple. It's that we want to be a global company, which we are, uh, but have also a localized reach. And really the long-term goal, if you see it this way, is on how we can help businesses transform the way they work, the way they adapt to the future, to, to sort of remain uh, in the industry, to, to be in the competition and to establish that competitive edge, but still be able to future-proof their work as well. And that's really what we want to be able to help companies do, all right? Which we are doing already. So um, the, the idea is, yes, we are trying to help improve their way of work. We're help, trying to help transform their way of work. Um, and we believe that that process should not ever compromise security or privacy because your business data is important, right? So with that said, of course, Zoho do run on Zoho. Every of our products are battle tested before we put it out there into the market. It's proven to work. It has helped us grow and scale our company. And we believe that that has helped a lot of our customers, our 100 million users over, over the world uh, actually achieve that as well, right? Um, okay, when we talk about privacy and security, you actually see elements and you know, essence of that in all these 55 plus applications that were built along the way. Again, our, our company has a prolific suite of uh, software products. Uh, we're not going to dive into the detail at this point of time, but you will actually get to see what each of these different products actually do. Um, but one thing that I do want to stress on and emphasize on is every of our products, while built in-house, are highly integrable, right? Since day one, they will be on a common data model. Uh, we really, we've really put out such a massive offerings uh, to essentially meet the need of scaling for businesses. So as your business sort of scales, uh, you will want the use of your technology to also scale in tandem, right? Because you have increasing use of certain tools, for example, CRM or maybe your HRS tools. Uh, you want to be able to tap into that different platforms uh, at different stages of your business as you start growing and scaling along the way. So that's the idea um, that we're putting out there. So when we talk about 55 plus application, I, I guess the general sentiment is... You know, people always tend to think that we're crazy, right? Because uh, there are very little vendor out there, to my knowledge, that had such crazy idea of coming up with such a broad suite of a software portfolio. Uh, we've made it work, and we believe that there's a method behind this madness. Uh, but let's take a look at the typical general business, um, how we go about doing that, right? So let's take a look at marketing first. So let's put it this way. Every business needs marketing. And to legitimize your business, you probably need to purchase a domain, whether it's via GoDaddy, Vodian, or DreamHost, right? You need to be able to establish and set up a website where you are able to market your products and services. Uh, in that, we do have a tool called Zoho Sites, 
this is based on a low code, no code uh, builder platform where everything is sort of based on drag and drop. It's easy to build these beautiful sites and to put up your products, your services, to put up support as well. Um, that is the staple for today's business, right? Is to have a really credible, nice looking website that's engaging and that's able to actually draw in leads as well. So in that sense, let's assume that we've really done up a really nice website uh, and it's not having traffic. You probably need to be able to have some general sense of understanding on how your web traffic is doing, right? You will probably need website data in this sense. So we have a CRO tool. In short, it stands for Conversion Rate Optimization Tool that allows you to sort of look into the various facets of your website. <clears throat> Just which specific call to actions get small, um, you know, navigation or more clicks, right? So these little blotches that you see are actually called heat maps and it gives you a general idea of just how visitors are navigating through your website. So that being said, every advanced website has a live chat agent these days. You probably agree with that, right? When you go to a website, you land on it, immediately a bot interacts with you and you get that 24 seven presence. This is very important for businesses with um, you know, an idea in mind that they want to go regional, that they want to go global because time zone is a factor here, right? And you don't want to keep your customers waiting. As we know, customer experience these days is all based on speed and precision. And the chatbot can really help you with that. So we have a tool called Zoho Sales IQ where you can pretty much build a bot yourself, by yourself, I repeat, and again, embed that onto your website. Um, and it gives that interaction or that customer, that interaction that they want right away. But I think what's really more important is if customers or prospects do want to speak with a human agent in that sense, or in that case, you can again have a human operator pick this up. Uh, but what's interesting is that he will be able to see the historical context as well as the conversation that that particular prospects or website visitors would have had with the bot itself. So they get a historical conversation, they know where to pick up, they have some context to it. Um, and again, I think what's important is your operators will also be able to tell if this is ever repeat customers coming to your website because what you see on the right is actually, you know, a breakdown of the customer's name, um, the number of times she or he has visited their website, um, and if this is actually a contact in the CRM, all right? So speaking about CRM, this is integrable with the CRM as well. So we, what we're doing here is really using contacts Having contacts is really important these days, right? Customer contacts, and it sort of give your sales agent a general idea of how they want to perhaps approach the customers or engage them based on their website visit or their behavior online. So that integration will be able to push information into the CRM saying that, okay, this is from this lead source, which is a chat agent channel. Um, these specific customers would have had this conversation with this specific sales agent right and vice versa so even in sales iq you will be able to pick up some crm data of that specific customers as well so that's how the integration works now another facet of marketing is in social media and it is big these days right having a social media management platform tool that is able to help you you know not just plan your campaigns as well as your social media captions and posts but schedule them publish and really ultimately at the end of the day, be able to monitor and dig deep into the performance of your social media in terms of who's interacting with the post. Now, obviously, we will be able to publish posts via channels like you know, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Meta, or X, which was previously known as Twitter, right? And you'll be able to sort of read into the interactions that people are having with posts, just how many impressions or clicks they have actually had. And that allows you to sort of you know, do a breakdown on, you know, uh, your social media strategy or your social media game, if you will, right? That's the language we have these days. Um, but I think what's most realistic and practical about this is as you put out all these different posts, you will have interactions. People will either come with a complaint, with a compliment, or they have questions. So sometimes they interact with your posts. Otherwise, your messenger tools, uh, which you can all access from Zoho Social, your marketing will actually get access to that. Uh, you can have a breakdown of the conversations as well. Now, again, if ever so they're identified as a potential prospect or lead, that can go right into the CRM right away once the integration is set up. All right. Or otherwise, if you have identified that as a customer support inquiry, 
that automatically goes right into Zoho Desk. Again, that is on the notion that we have integrated Zoho Social as well as Zoho Desk. So having a campaigns tool, what does it do? Um, again, this is an EDM tool that really helps you push out your marketing newsletters as well as campaigns, right? Again, this is highly integrable with the CRM. And it's especially helpful when it comes to being able to look at uh, customizing content for a more personalized customer experience when, so, when we talk about pushing out this content to a specific customers because different content will appeal to different customers, right? They may have cross-selling opportunities, up-selling opportunities, and you want to be able to look into your CRM just how you can best approach that customer and then launch a campaign at that group of customers. So this goes hand in hand. Um, so as your marketing activity scales, you will want to involve a higher degree of automation, which is very, very much possible in the tool we call marketing automation. Um, this allows you to create sort of a, like a workflow map where you create journeys across all these various channels like your emails to your websites, right, to your chats, and actually push out this personalized content that follows your customers throughout his or her journey. So... Um, for example, whenever a customer interacts with a specific mail, maybe a first email, right? Um, and you will get a certain scoring. So depending on his or her response, that will trigger another set of appropriate email action. Either to put this into a separate buckets of customer lists or maybe to send forth a second line of email, right? All those can be customized in this workflow builder. And these are all based on automation. So it runs automatically uh, on your behalf. Saves you a bunch of time, you can actually focus on more, uh, you know, for cliche terms, a little bit more on uh, meaningful activities. So we have a tool called Backstage as well, right? The idea of this is to use Backstage to plan and promote and eventually run event. Now, this can be an online event. This can be a live event. You can do it the hybrid style, whatever works for you, whatever is your marketing intent. Um, but this is a tool here that is able to actually help you uh, do up events and gather crowds and for you to really engage with your user base. And we use this quite a fair bit uh, when it comes to our user conference called Zoholics. If you are familiar with that, if you're not, you can actually find it online. Um, all this information are out on the web. So assuming we have got some really nice, successful marketing going, right? That has helped us garner a decent volume of leads. Let's move on to sales. Now, what are we doing with these leads? Automatically, we would assume and associate that with a CRM. Um, and we have a CRM. In fact, this is one of the flagship products as well. Um, and, and by the way, I've actually put in that little snippet there that says uh, SME Go Digital. We are on IMD as well as PSG. Uh, the grant is at 50%, so do check them out. Again, this information are available online. We can do um, the information also. We can actually send it over once this webinar gets over and done with. Right, So these are programs that we have worked with to really help businesses here ease into the process of um, digitizing the sales process. Okay, so let's talk about CRM. Okay, enough a about these grants and all that, but let's talk about CRM, uh, what it can do for you really as a sales guy, as a sales team, as a marketer, as a support agent. It's that it gives you an understanding on really your customers, right? It gives you that complete view of the customers you would know what were the purchases that your customer made in the past? Why did they make the purchase? How did they make the purchase? From who did they make the purchase? And what channel have they made the purchase from? So again, you get really a good understanding of your customers or your prospects. Now, prospects-wise, you're going to be able to have a really good idea on the probability of conversion. So uh, either you can do some lead scoring or take a score to that prospect. In that sense, your agent knows how to best navigate and nurture that lead into a deal, all right? And I think what's also really great about this is being able to centralize and manage your customer's data. Uh, and with that being said, historical data, what were some of the historical activities your customers have had or conversations that they have had with you? And when you put that together with real-time information that you have put in fresh from the oven, you get a better idea of how to approach the customers better. And that is in a nutshell what CRM can do for you. And of course, there are a lot of other sophisticated features that you can do, things like automation, uh, things like process management, right? Here and there. Uh, but again, that's the topic for another day. So there are, of course, tools that we have launched to ensure that we have a more frictionless sales experience. 
Now in that, we want to be able to sign e-documents, <clears throat> right? So um, we have recently integrated these uh, with SingPass for Zoho Sign. And the idea is that you want to be able to authenticate the signature process, your identity uh, for signing this documentation. So me as Nicholas, I have to identify my identity before I can sign the documentation. It makes that process a whole lot more legitimate and secure. Um, but what's important is you have a general idea of well, this is all through the digital format, complete e-signing. You want to have visibility on the signature process. Has it been viewed? Has it been opened by the recipient? Has it been signed? Has the signature been obtained? Now, if you will, you will probably get two sets of documentation. One is a certificate for completion. Another one would be a complete signed document, a completed signed document with your signature as well as the recipient's signature on it. So everything is kept in black and white. Right, so this is based on blockchain. Again, as I sort of say, it's very legitimate. It is very secure. So you've gotten marketing, you've gotten leads coming into your pipeline, and you do get to convert them into a customer. Now you want to be able to retain a customer for the long run, and some degree of support has to be provided, right? In that, we have Zoho Desk, which is a ticketing tool. And really these days, we talk about having that omni-channel presence where we are taking one conversation from one channel and being able to build it up on another or to continue it on another channel, right? So there's a lot of context uh, and information being relayed along the way uh, to make better, more informed decision-making, if you will. So again, what we can do with this is to really help you break down the different channels in which these customer tickets are coming in from. You get to be able to prioritize these tickets. Uh, what you want to do is to be able to cut down on the wait time, right, of addressing this customer's pain point. You want to be able to increase the speed, right, increase the uptime. So that's what DAS really can do, but more so you have that 360 view of um, that specific tickets but you also want the most qualified subject matter expert to be supporting the case, not any random agent who sits around, uh, who is vacant, who is available, but is perhaps not the most learned in that specific subject, right? So you can do tagging as well along the way in Zoho Desk. So what is reply assistant here in Zoho Desk? All right, let's talk a little bit about AI. Right, so when we talk about AI, we have a tool called Xia. This is our own in-house AI assistant. Now, we don't offer this as a standalone service, but rather our idea of such service is to embed it into the majority of our tools, to amplify, to magnify its usage. In this case, a customer ticketing tool like Zoho Desk. And the idea is whenever we receive a ticket, Xia will intercept the ticket. Xia will be able to use natural language to break down the context of the ticket and then map uh, a response or maybe you map a, a, a knowledge-based article. Um, so your agent in this sense now gets to know um, the, the best response to this specific ticket, right? He can either use that as a reference or he can actually copy paste the entire content into the email canvas over here and click send. So in that sense, it's really going to help improve the quality of your response, but really more so the consistency aspect. If ever you do get tickets that are repeated, uh, questions or repeated inquiries. You don't want to spend time drafting it from scratch, right? So these are information that you can pretty much draw from your existing knowledge base. Now take note, if you have a set of response that is exemplary or it's a standard response that you feel that, hey, would be really helpful in the near future, you can also add that into the knowledge base as well. So it really goes both ways. So a little bit more about other support uh, aspects is in Zoho Assist. Now, Zoho Assist is a tool that is used to assist online software problems, right? In, in that, you will be able to, as an agent, take over the machine of your client or your employees or your staff if you are IT administrator. Um, and then from there on, be able to troubleshoot their machine on their behalf. All this in, in the process while they are monitoring, right? So they get to actually monitor what you're actually doing to their machine uh, from their screen, um, and if ever they spot something that is a miss, they will be able to terminate their session. So there's some degree of, um, if you will, security involved in these aspects. So in Zolens, we actually really build these tools based on the idea of AR technology. Um, what you will be able to do is to sort of reflect what you see on the ground as a perhaps few engineer or a few staff and reflect that back right into the HQ. 
So some collaboration is actually going on through augmented reality, right? So um, as a, perhaps as a counselor or as an advisor, I will be able to annotate on screen and to sort of give very specific directions on which specific areas I want the engineer to troubleshoot on the ground. Or, and we can give it a step-by-step -step basis by labeling step one, step two, three, four, so on and forth. So it really makes that process um, more seamless. It makes that process a little bit more easier to understand. So Zoho Survey Tool is pretty self-explanatory, right? You run survey, you get these feedbacks, you want to use this information to enrich the existing database of your customers. So yeah, generally, as you sort of get the idea, we have a lot of a la carte tools, but again, when you put them up into a suite itself, we've got a highly functional suite in CRM Plus. Uh, and, and this really appeals to customer-facing teams who want to have a more 360 holistic view of their customers, not just from the sales aspects, but in terms of marketing, what are the conversations and campaigns that we can have with them? What are the types of support that we have run with them? And be able to have this information consistently available on all these different platforms, right? That's why we came up with the suite. So now let's touch on apps and finance. Uh, we go really quickly on this one. Um, at the end of the day, I think as businesses, we want to be able to get paid. And we have a bookkeeping tool here. So the idea of Zero Books is to sort of look at the cash flow within your company, right? What are some of the outstanding invoices that your businesses has or the money that your customer owes you? In that way, you'll be able to chase down that payment. Now, again, maybe you can take a look at the payables. What are some of the outstanding bills that your business has or owe to others? And again, that way you can quickly you know, go ahead and uh, cover that because you have a reputation to maintain. You don't want to be owning money, right? So Zoho Books here gives you a granular view of things. It gives you a breakdown on all these accounting and expenses that your company has as a business. Um, but I think more importantly, to receive the money, you have to be able to issue invoices and facilitate checkouts. So in this sense, you will be able to issue invoices that are customized, that are personalized to your customers. Again, you will be able to actually pull this information from your customer database um, and, and actually issue that as a form of invoice and payment to your customers for collection. So of course, some projects are actually billable um, based on billable hours, based on man hours. You want to be able to sort of have that visibility and also issue that invoices to your vendors accordingly. <clears throat> so we do have a ton of other you know, financial tools, finance tools, things like inventory to sort of be able to take into account your stock level. If ever you have stock level that are running low, you want to come back and quickly replenish them, right? Um, if you're doing this sort of work, it's very important you keep view of things like this. Um, I think what's also really important is being able to manage your customer's life cycles. And with that, we've got a tool in subscription. Uh, and it's a subscription billing software that you want to use to actually help with billing cycle from end to end. So again, we're talking about automating recurring billings, uh, managing subscription, sending professional tax compliance invoices, but more importantly is to be able to get paid on time, right? You want to be able to get paid on time as you're offering these sort of services to your clients. Um, and we have a tool called Zoho Expense as well. Again, this is one of the tools we use a lot, especially when business travel has already opened up. And this really ensures that your staff goes through that standard SOP in terms of raising a trip or travel request. That way, the, the manager can actually approve if this is a valid trip. That sense, there is some form of SOP involved. It's more standardized. Um, it's not all over the place. But... As they go through the trip, you also want them to be able to have these receipts and expenses properly scanned uh, into the system itself, right, upon submission and, and to generate that as a report for reimbursement in time to come. So that can be achieved with zero expense. So again, we also have a suite called Finance Plus Suite. So you get the idea. We have a la carte services. We have bundles as well. And the idea is to make sure that the experience when it comes to, in this case, the finance side, more holistic. So when the money starts coming in, a lot of businesses tend to think this way, oh, perhaps it's time to hire, right? So we have helps for HR and recruitment as well. So let's start with an application tracking tool like Zoho Recruit. And the idea is 
when we start looking at hiring, you want to be able to publish your available job posting on portals like uh, monster.com or LinkedIn or Indeed, right? Just to name a few notable ones. Um, but you can actually push out job openings from there on. And whenever you have a candidate come on and apply for that, you get to actually see the entire recruitment pipeline. Um, in that sense, you will be able to create and send assessment online if you have a specific assessment in the video format that can be done as well. You want to put a deadline to that, that can be done as well. Um, but importantly, in a recruitment management tool like this, you want to be able to track your candidate activity as well as the history with the interviews. Has an offer letter been sent? Has it been accepted? Has it been signed? Right? So some level of collaboration definitely has to happen um, between your hiring manager as well as your recruitment manager. So once the hire process is smooth, you start onboarding people, you start training them. Uh, we've got a HRS tool called Zoe People as well. Um, what we are seeing here is a custom onboarding flow. So again, from day one, whenever um, your employee starts joining, he or she will be guided with this flow with a welcome message. They will get to actually see um, the team members. They will get introduced to the workspaces. Uh, they will actually see the objective of their role as well. What are the KRAs, key results areas that they actually have to deliver and achieve, right? So through custom onboarding flow, um, again, you'll be able to mandate certain steps and processes to guide and ease your employee into your organization. Of course, you'll be able to do attendance tracking. This is a given. This is actually a mandatory one to have. You want to be able to manage shift as well. That's available. Do performance evaluations, provide feedback, set up skills, matrices, right? Look at competencies. Um, there are nine boxes to actually help you with that. Again, you want to take a look at key results area. Have that been achieved? What are some of the career plans that you have done for um, that specific employees that can all be done with so whole people? So it's not just about you know, managing some of the administrative aspect of things when it comes to your new hire, right? We're talking about learning, we're talking about development, uh, but very much this is a tool that is powering it. It's called Zoho Learn. This is a learner management system tool where you actually get to upload your course materials, your learning materials, and actually have your new hire sit through that. And you can also pack on some certification if ever that is part of the mandated process, right? So. Um, in that sense, you will know that they would have gone through this specific training and, and, and actually garner them that qualification to start with day one of doing a specific job. So that can all be done with Zoho Learn. Now, again, we have also built this into Zoho People as well. So you see a little bit of fraction of the element in uh, Zoho People. So you get the idea, right? We have so many different tools. What we have really done here is integrate them or either include them as certain features in part of a larger application. So there's a lot of value pack when it comes to uh, Zoho software in that sense. So lump it all up, we have a complete HRS tool uh, called Zoho People Plus. Again, this is a functional suite for the HR side of things. So talk about IT apps. Now in your organizations, if you do get to the stage of having an IT team, uh, what you want to be able to do is to create your own niche applications uh, through a uh, local local platform, which we call Zoho Creator. Now, if your processes are a little bit more unique, um, that perhaps you will not be able to pick an off-the-shelf products and run with it. You want to be able to develop a specific tool. You can use Zoho Creator to help you do that. So you can actually create tool, right? Create unique business app, deploy them, manage them. Uh, and help you automate specific workflows as well, right? Now, at the end of the day, while we are using all these different tools, I think realistically speaking, we are generating data, whether it's in forms of video, whether it's in forms of text or images, we are generating data and we want to be able to sort of garner some level of insights because data is important. It's the cliche saying is the new currency. And that's true. There's a lot of things that you can do with that. It can help you generate revenue. It can help you satisfy customer. So these are important. So at the end of the day, we have a analytical BI tool. BI stands for business intelligence tool, uh, where you can integrate that into the various Zoho applications. Uh, these data sources are natively connected with a completely UI-driven uh, um, aspect of things. So with a few simple clicks, you can set up the integrations.
right? And identify your data source, pull in this data right into analytics and curate some form of reports and dashboard based off that. So in that sense, you'll be able to garner insights that helps you make more accurate um, and key decisions, right? You integrate that with a project management tool, you will be able to forecast and plan resources better. So what we are doing here is blending data with project management tool. We're looking at numbers of open tasks versus completed one. What is the general timing that it took to pretty much complete a task, right, et cetera. So you can integrate that with Zoho Inventory to optimize your stock handling by analyzing your sales as well as the order place, the invoices raised, you know, what are some of the best and least selling products and things like that. You'll get a general idea of that with Zoho Analytics because it does help you break down that number for you. And as a key decision maker, you want to be able to have that. As a business owner, you want to have numbers at your fingertips. You want to be able to know how your business is doing on different fronts of your business or different backends of your business. Okay, so this is not just limited to integrating with inventory. You can integrate this with CRM. You can integrate this with Zoho Books, your HR tools, things like this. Okay, a little bit more example on how, you, how things are when you integrate inventory and analytics. So let's move on really quickly. We do have tools for communications as well. Um, with that, we have an email tool. Right. Um, this is, of course, one of the most long-standing products as well. We do have an email tool. We have something we could call Zoho Click. Now, think of this as a team messenger tool where you'll be able to run conversations with your colleagues on important information. Right. This is in real time. It's very much like a WhatsApp, but it's more for business sense, and you get to run group conversations, company-wide conversations. You can pass down announcements as well. Um, again, as I mentioned here in this like time sensitive update, so these are communication that is more synchronous. Meetings are there as well. We, we do have a meeting tool to actually accommodate um, a larger team, a larger team size. If you want to have meeting across the boards with different departments that can all be done within the Zoho meetings platform. All right. So. We do have project management tool as well. So you want to be able to plan and complete projects on time. This gives you a good breakdown uh, in terms of the Gantt chart on uh, resource planning, right? You want to be able to complete your projects on time. You want to be able to track your time, how much time you have invested, because time is money in business sense as well. And with projects, as I sort of briefly mentioned earlier on, some projects, uh, in fact, most projects are billable. So again, you want to be able to do some level or degree of timesheet invoicing. OK, um, again, if you're looking at other project methodology beyond waterfall, um, if you're looking at something that is more agile, we have a tool called Zoho Sprints. All right. So the collaboration aspects, um, we have something called Zoho Connect as well. This is a social intranet platform that allows you to create interest group, that allows you to create very specific groups for very specific discussions. You have companies wide announcements. You can actually post it here and gather some form of interactions, whether it's like, reshare. Uh, but I think more importantly, and more realistic, realistically speaking, is that discussion aspect that you want to be able to have uh, at the org level. So that can be achieved with Zoho Connect. So with business documentation and collateral, you can also publish them. Um, you can also nest them under a file repository called Zoho Work Drive. This is where you nest your slideshows, your word documentation, your spreadsheets document, which is what I'm going to get to right now. Uh, as a business, from whether it's for marketing, whether it's for sales, whether it's for uh, the finance side of things or HR, you need to be able to create documents. So uh, with that being said, we have a word processor tool in Zoho Writer, a slideshow tool in Zoho Show, and then spreadsheet in Zoho Sheet. So you get to actually create review and publish these contents, you get to collaborate more importantly. You want to be able to gather some, some degree of collaboration uh, on these different tools itself. Again, when you lump them all together, uh, we have a tool here that is aimed and targeted more for productivity and communication, right? And that we have uh, a Zoho Workplace tool. So we've covered really a lot of aspects. We've covered the front end, we've covered the back end, we've covered the tools in the middle that is needed to get departments or team members on the front end working with the back end, vice versa. Uh, you want that open communication within your organization. There are tons of applications. 
and different categories of them. Um, but what are we doing with those? And we, we don't see those as silos, but rather at the end of the day, we see them as one um, functional suite of a products to really help you run your entire business. Right, in that we have a larger suite here. So you can tell we are progressing things, right? We talk about a la carte services as a standalone tool that we offer. We talk about bundles and functional suites. And then we talk about, um, you know, one mega suite at the top of it all. In that we have Zoho One, right? So again, um, before I get to that, of course, all these tools can be purchased from multiple different vendors. Um, obviously, that's a given, right? Every business have their own choice. But what they actually experience from those is a multi-vendor headache. Again, every of these vendors have different renewal cycles. They have different administrative processes and invoicing cycles as well. So if that invoice comes to your desk, you're taken by surprise, you know why. You're probably using too many different vendor solutions. And if you were to get into the support process, it's even much so of a headache, okay? So what you do lend yourself in or the technical aspect of thing is uh, integration spaghetti, right? If you want to do some form of integrations, the app probably doesn't communicate well with each other. There's a lot of involvement when it comes to that support team, your own IT team. There's cost involved as well because you're putting in time. But at Zoho, what we have done is lump it all up. You know, we give it to you from day one. Uh, Again, what we have Zoho One here is really one unified suite where you have access to all these 55 plus application. Uh, again, how we want this to be for our users is a self-discovery process. Maybe these days, or well, maybe today you aren't looking at a, uh, a support tool, but in the near future you would be, right? So you want to be able to exercise that degree of autonomy when it comes to deciding which tool you use at which different stage of your business. Now, all this can be done uh, on the users end as well. So that's the idea. That's why we have put 55 plus web and mobile application under one bundle and really provision that to our users since day one. Um, they're highly functional. Um, and of course, when it comes to administrative processes, um, you are minimizing the number of hands of people involved in this process. You want to have a couple of go-to admin, or maybe one admin user who's, who's actually able to govern these different access and provision these different access to different departmental uh, members, right? In that sense, you can exercise some degree of governance when it comes to not just uh, tools, but I think really more importantly, if you look a little bit deeper than that, it's also governing the access to that business data. Some are more confidential, right? Uh, I, I do ever speak with customers who actually say that, hey, you know, being able to govern all this really helps me deter corporate espionage because we can never rule out such possibilities, right? There may or may not be a possibility that things like this happens, but, you know, more importantly is to be able to exercise that sort of precaution. So the idea with Zoho One is we're giving really one account, one pricing, one invoicing. Again, as I sort of mentioned, one account manager here, you're not dealing with multiple different vendors in this case and throwing them in a mix where it confuses you. Um, and the Bruno cycle is simple, right? So again, what's the price of Zoho One here? It's really priced at $40 SGD per employee per month. Um, it's a pretty reasonable price. We have always seen this to be economically priced because we want to produce value for businesses. Again, if we sort of link it back to the first few slides, we spoke about transforming business processes. That is important for us. That's really our purpose as a company. We want to be able to help businesses. So we're not here to um, price this at an exorbitant amount, but rather to put it at a reasonable price to help businesses grow and scale and perform in their respective regions. So yeah, pretty much talk about apps, suites, and going to the larger level operating system, right? To help you run your entire businesses. Um, there's going to be increasing value as well because um, with this software as a service that's off the shelf, a lot of these updates comes uh, and you're going to be able to enjoy that as well. So before I end off, I do want to give a quick uh, glimpse of how Zoho One looks like, at least from the administrative side of view. So you do get a unified dashboard. Along when we talk about reporting, along when we talk about dashboards, uh, we tend to look at it as single faceted. So maybe it's more sales focused. Maybe it's more marketing focused. But in this sense, if you want to have a granular view of all that is happening on these different business fronts, you can pull in things from inventory, 
finance like books, uh, your campaigns tools, your survey tools. These are customizables. Uh, you're not expected to actually create this from scratch because we do have widgets that you can pull in to help you with that. So all you have to do is to relay your requirements. What do you actually want to see within your dashboards? That can be done. Again, as I sort of say, 50 plus preview widgets, more to come in the upcoming years. So if this is something that interests you, you do want to look out for that as well, right? These widgets actually helps you with the personalization and customization aspects of your dashboards. Um, of course, AI is a given service, as I sort of mentioned, they are not that as a standalone service, but we have embedded that in majority of our tools. Um, we spoke about having dashboards, having the analytical side of things, being able to draw insights, um, but anyone who does data analytics knows that you have to have a degree or certain competency when it comes to being able to do SQL or being able to do certain uh, you know, data blending and all that. But at the end of the day, why do we have AI here is we want to incorporate AI into the business analytics side of things to really improve the end user experience when it comes to helping you gather or ask for data on demand. So again, with natural language, the AI will be able to pick up um, your responses. You put in the right parameters, it will be able to curate the right set of response. If you're looking at bar charts, if you're looking at histograms, you're looking at numbers like integers, uh, these are things that Zia will be able to produce for you based on the existing data that you have in your database, right? AI does the job for us in that aspect. Um, you can do unified searches, and what it does is comb through all your various tools that you use within the, the Zoho One ecosystem. So there's more to come. Keep a lookout. And uh, I do want to thank